Hi, my name is Mike. My name is Jordan. My name is Chris, and we're designers at the Lego Group. And today we're going to show you the Lego Sea Cow. So this is Metal Beard's Sea Cow, one of the most exciting models to come out of the new Lego movie. I drove the concept design phase from Lego's side, but we also got to collaborate with an awesome animation company in Australia called Animal Logic, and a couple of crazy directors from America. So not one designer, or even three, can lay their name to this model. It's been put together by some of the most creative minds in film and toys. I got to turn the original drawings of the sea cow into a brick-built model. Here I really had to concentrate on bringing some realism and some feasibility, but of course protect the amazing drawings that impressed everybody so much at the first stage. When you're making a movie, changes are always going to happen as you try to perfect the motion picture along the way. Here you have to be professional, of course saying goodbye to some of your favourite models or characters, even jokes. Um, at the same time being creative, get back on your feet, come back bigger, stronger, with more awesome models. I've personally built hundreds of models for this film, but only the finest have made the cut, and one of those is definitely the LEGO Sea Cow. So I was really excited to be able to finish the Sea Cow model. It's a very whimsical shape, it's very squashed and top heavy, so it's unlike anything we've seen before. And this did lead to some stability issues in the model, so myself and Michael collaborated a little bit, and we came up with this Technic frame that runs down into the hull. And then we disguise that with pipes and girders and stuff, just to give it the steampunk feel. There's a huge amount of details in this ship, and it's the first time we've featured six working cannons, so we hope that's something you guys are going to really like. The boiler room is one of my favourite parts, just because it's packed full of steampunk details. And if you take the middle mast off, and just open both the side doors, you can get in and play with that. Metalbeard's cabin up top has a lot of cool pirate accessories in it, and Georgie, the graphic designer, created a lot of exciting graphics to complement this room. The main feature of the Sea Cow, which makes it so different from other pirate ships, is we don't want to use textiles for the sails. Instead, we wanted to give it a very unique mechanical look, so we used all these Technic panels. And of course, we can't call this model the Sea Cow without having the cow on the bowsprit. And we wanted to bring a lot of the adventure and excitement from the film into this set, so we brought Chris on to add some extra details and play, just to make the set the best it can be. To bring more excitement and adventure to the set, I was brought on board to design two new micromanagers exclusive to this set. And just like with all the different micromanagers across the product line, we want each one to offer its own unique player value. What makes these two micromanagers exclusive to this set is that they include a fold-out radar dish, flick missiles, and a hidden net shooter. Also included in this set is our usual lineup of heroes, and a few exclusives you won't find anywhere else, in the form of Queasy Kitty, and a smaller version of Metal Beard, that we like to nickname Mini Beard and is built using the new smaller ball joint system. And here we have the complete sea cow. I'll see you next time. Arr!